Beverly Hill Mansion, the hard way. But you'll also find Eartha Kid on the East Coast, living a surprisingly different kind of life. Hollywood to me is not a real lifestyle for me. So, Eartha changed her surroundings drastically. She moved to over 90 acres of prime Connecticut real estate and settled into a genuine old-fashioned house built in 1733. A converted barn where the living is easy. Well, the country, to me, is always where I feel safer and healthier. Freedom to flip-flop lifestyles and money in the bank to do it in style are bittersweet ironies for the former South Carolina sharecropper's daughter who grew up dirt poor and unloved. It's one big joke. Here it is, this little cotton-picking urchin who was rejected by all people when she was a child in the South given away by her mother, and had to work since the beginning of time for survival. She's now eating beluga caviar and drinking champagne and living on the 70th floor of the world. Eternally grateful to the benevolent spirit, Arthur acknowledges her lifestyle has gone full circle. Here I am, living in a way the same kind of life I was forced to live in the South when I was a child, along with the animals. The reindeers come in, they share the garden with me, and the... Though I know along the way, I'm always maintaining the only way I really know how to survive, and that is with the dirt. But with a difference. As undisputed mistress of the manor, Arthur has created a chic, utterly personal home environment. Solo since her 1966 divorce, she has turned self-imposed exile into a shrine to her own survival and comfort. Just an hour's drive from Manhattan, Eartha's quiet world is light years away from the showbiz razzmatazz she once put behind her. You have to find a way to keep your sanity and get away from the business itself. Get away from being whomever it has been that you have uh, become as a stage personality. I know that my friends are constantly saying, you, well, you're out in the woods, you know, and nobody ever sees you. And if they don't see you out of sight, out of mind, you must be on the scene, you know, in order to say, oh, yes, we saw the kid at a cocktail party the other day. Oh, we saw the kid walking down the street the other day. Oh, yes, he'd be good for this part. But I, I guess it's because I'm not... I really am not a hustler. <laughs> I don't know how to be. I can fight for everyone else, but I can never really hustle for myself. Life may have slowed down in the country, but her work pace has only increased. A major reason for Eartha's choice to call the Nutmeg State home is closeness to the Big Apple. The city her bedazzling daughter can't wait to put behind her. Eartha even sprung for a snazzy set of wheels so Kit can make tracks to the country in style and unwind from the daily battle as one of today's hottest young supermodels. It's the most beautiful feeling in the world, I think, that anyone can have. And to have my child, thank God, no problem. She's never given me any worries. When I see her face and I look in her eyes, and I can see the beauty behind the face, that is what makes me feel very proud of myself, too. Arthur Kett, rich without an old-fashioned millionaire.